Hello, my name is Byron Franklin. I was in navigation for the Navy for 27 years. I wish to explain to you something that the Navy uses or has used in the past and has been taught at Annapolis, has been taught at OCS, and also in Bowditch and the Quartermaster's Training Log for the USS Navy First Class and Chief. I want to introduce you the Franklin piloting technique. The technique is shown in the American Practical Navigator Bowditch H09 and in the Quartermaster First and Chief uh, as Navy books. Uh, the civilian group hasn't included it in their books, but the technique has been used for many a years. And um, in Annapolis, uh, Maryland, where the Navy um, has their main inductive for officers, and also OCS, Newport, Rhode Island, uh, used it, and Surface Warfare School uses it. So it would be worthwhile you to try uh, once you learn this technique. It goes against civilian books and what civilians normally teach because it can find compass error uh, when taking bearings. So let's take a look at what the job is and how it works. Here's a good example of the Franklin piloting technique. This is a simple technique that needs only to be used in simplicity. You take three bearings as always. The two closer bearings intersection is the fix. You use the fix to find the bearing from the fix to the far nav aid. The difference between what you called in to begin with to form the triangle or error and this line to the far nav aid from the fix is the amount of error. So you then look at the Far nav aid from the fix as if you were standing there. If it passes to the right, it's an east error and you must add. Let's go into why it works. It mainly works through the idea of the rule of 1 and 60 of radian. The distance from you, let's say, to the nav aid need not be measured, but it can be seen as short distance or large distance. But if you want to mathematically find out something, you can divide that distance by 60. This is the radiant rule for one degree, let's say. So a one degree error would produce a uh, CPA, closest point of approach, line of position, as a 1 to 60 ratio. For 1,000 yards, it comes out 17 yards as the miss, the closest point of approach. Uh, so the radiant rule is the reason why it works. The farther off the far one is, the more accurate it can be. It need not be real far, but it, the more farther, the more accurate. The other thing about it is the direction. The direction of it can always be told because if you take a bearing to a nav aid, if it passes to your right, it's an east error. If it passes to your left, it's a west error. Uh, this depends on how much error, of course. 
So that's two factors. Now another factor is this. Any time you take a bearing of two objects, you are on a, unless you're on a straight line with them, you're on a circle with them. So if you intersect those two bearing lines, you will be on a circle. If the circle has error, it will go to the left, depending on the amount of error, or the right of error, but it will always crisscross on this circle if it's systematic error. If it's random, such as in a large part of uh, the magnetic compass, it won't hit that circle, but it'll come close to it. So the idea is you're on this circle. You have to watch out for one case on that circle, and that is if the three nav aids that you take are on that circle, you'll get a pinpoint fix with systematic error, such as we have here. Here's the true bearings, the three, and here's systematic error with the three. Notice the pinpoint is on the fix. But also notice that this circle um, is present. So if you have a small amount of error, you'll be over here or over here. If you're right on, you'll be right there. So that is also part of it, but you don't need to know these facts. I want to show you one other case, and this case is the same as all other cases, where the solid lines are the error that was taken with bearings off of three nav aids. Now notice this. Let's select as our too close with a wide spread, a good spread, this and this. The intersection is here. If we take a bearing of the far object, this is farther, but not that much farther, you'll see that the boat or ship is in line with the intersection. That circle that runs here could be imagined. Notice the boats right here. Notice the error indicator line is over to the right while looking at the far one. It's an east error. So this means any triangle you can look at and immediately determine east or west. The amount by taking the bearing back from here and comparing the original bearing with this bearing, you get the amount of error. So this works perfectly well. Now the farther this object is away, the more correct or the larger percent of the error you get. But even in this case, you get a just about 100% Notice that the nav aid is right there. So notice also that since these objects are within 180 degrees of each other, it's not in the circle, the triangle at all, but outside of the triangle. And this will always be the case. The only time you're in the triangle is if the objects are 360 degrees uh, not 180 like this. So you should be able to take better fixes. Um, you, you should be able to correct your compass. You should be able to find your gyro error. And you should be able to do things that you never dreamed of doing without this procedure. But all you really need to know is what I showed you here. Take three bearings, take the intersection of the two closer, take a bearing of the far one, compare the bearings. 
If it's right, it's east and add. If it's left, it's west and subtract. You should be able to use this to get pinpoint fixes. Thank you. Bye.